Hey guys, so uh, bringing you another vlog right here. It is uh, week six, so we've got um, nine more weeks left, and so far in the standings, we've got Kevin still at the top with almost a hundred more points than anyone else. So yeah, he has been off to a great start. Um, Schnell in second place, also four and one. Then we've got three, three and two teams. Bill, Max, and Steven, um, me, uh, Matt, and Doyle are two and three, and then Brian and Mikey down at the bottom, one and four. Brian, though, he got out of last place with that beat down he just put on my team last week, and actually, we're going to get right into that. So yeah, last week, Brian, um, I picked me, but obviously, that wasn't going to happen. Uh, he had 159. So, yeah, I don't think I could have done anything. And um, when I think about it, that loss doesn't even matter to me because the real loss was my best player, Jamal Charles. Out for the year, just like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to give up on this season. I mean, I don't know. My, my team is looking pretty shitty right now. So, yeah, that's tough. <clears throat> and uh, the next recap that we had, um, Kevin... Put a beat down on Bill, 145 to 90. You know, wasn't wasn't really close, but I mean, yeah. Um, Freeman again, still dominating. Eifert has his second two touchdown game of the year. That always helps. Robinson, same thing. And then yeah, Eli, he he went off as well. Bill, you've got that Denver D though. They are very consistent for you. And then uh. You'll be better once Big Ben comes back, because with that comes the return of the stud Antonio Brown. All right, in the next one, we had uh, Max versus Mikey, and Max pulled out a pretty close win. Won by about six or so, 98 to 92.5. Um, not a whole lot of notable performances in this one. I mean, Forte, Gore doing their thing, Rodgers, actually... Didn't play as well. Managed to throw his first two picks in fucking forever at uh, Lambeau. All right. Um, the next matchup we had, um, Steven versus Matt. And uh, actually, this was the only matchup all week where both teams scored over 100. Matt, you broke the 100-point mark by .35 points, but you still got there. But it didn't matter as Steve's team dropped 120. Had a good week. Um, Gates, his return, if he's anything close to that, that's going to be nice. And then Odell making first appearance on your team. Great first impression right there. And then in the last matchup that we had, it was Schnell versus Doyle. And um, Schnell came close to 100, couldn't break it, but that didn't matter as Doyle's team only had 83. So, I mean, yeah, not going to. Not going to do a whole lot when you only score 83. Um, Manning, wow, has he been shitty this year. And then, yeah, Pete, Le'Veon, he's been a stud, but you could really, really use uh, McCoy back. He'd definitely be a big boost to your team. I guess McCoy and Jackson, once they're healthy, then you'll definitely, definitely have a solid squad. But for now, you might struggle. All right, going into next week's matchups, or this week's matchups. We've got me versus Pete. Yikes. Neither neither team is really looking too hot right now. I mean, like I said, I already lost Jamal. And it doesn't help that uh, Latavius Murray, my second best running back, is also on by. So I'm rolling out Blunt, Lewis, and Crowell, and I am not too happy about that. Projected under 100 points. Um, yikes. Pete, uh, shady. They, he's practiced so far this week, so, you know, maybe he comes back. Um, looks like Deshaun's gonna be out again, actually. So, yeah, a couple injury slash by riddled teams. Um, I'm gonna go with Doyle in this one. Not really too excited about either pick right there, but I'm going Pete. All right, um... Up next, two, three, and two teams, Billy versus Steven. Um, looking at it, 
Steve, you've got Gurley on by. Um, Bill, obviously, Big Ben. Still hurt, so that sucks. Um, Yeldon, it's looking like he might not play, so Steve, I don't know what you're going to do if that happens. And then same thing with Odell. Nice to have that extra day of rest for sure, as he could really use that. His bulky hamstrings, can't have those being a problem, would be not a great time to trade for him if that happened. Um, Bill, you do get Marshall and Chris Ivory. Uh, they're going to make get their first appearance on your team this week, and I think they they both should be pretty big contributors for you. So that would be nice. But in the end, I'm going with the Pittsburgh Feelers. I like them to get this one and pull out two, four, and two. All right, um, the next matchup. We have first place versus tenth place. Kevin... Projected about 117, Mikey around 103. So we've got a big point disparity right there as well. Actually, not as big as what Chanel and Matt's are, but we'll get to that. All right, um, Kevin, you have luck back for now, I think. I mean, no one will really know his status until 7.30 Sunday night, if he's in the game or not. So... Having him come back, that'll be nice, even though Eli has performed well for you. Um, yeah, I mean, your wide receivers, they've been they've been really good. Um, see if Tate can turn it around. Freeman, obviously he's been good. Lamar Miller, I think the coaching change is really going to help him because uh, Philbin was an idiot, and he was not giving him the ball enough. So that should definitely be something they're looking to turn around. Um, anyway... Uh, Kevin, you do have Cooper on by, and, uh, yeah, so that, that's not that bad of a loss, I guess. Um, Mikey, Alshon, once again, questionable. Let's see if he can play his lower body, hamstrings, and that just hasn't done it for him this year. Um, Hearns, he's also questionable right now. Um... Yeah, I, he plays, though. I think he should be pretty good against Houston's porous secondary. In this one, though, I'm going with the first place, uh, Kevin. So I think you get to 5-1. and one. <clears throat> All right. Uh, the next matchup we've got is Brian versus Max. And in this matchup, um, Max, you are dealing with a couple injuries right now. Adams, probably not going to play. Watkins, he's questionable. Um, Terrence Williams, he's on by, so wide receiver, at least your wide receiver three might struggle a little bit right now. Um, Brian, you have Doug Martin on by. Um, you are getting Martavis Bryant back, though, so that could help you out. And uh, <clears throat> so far... Uh, Max is projected around 113 to Brian's like 108. And going through the matchups, um, if Steve Smith plays for Max, I like his team. I think they're going to perform well. Um, yeah, Brian, if you have any shot, you obviously need Forsett and Lynch to play because that's it's going to hurt you if you don't. All right, so getting into the final matchup of the week. We have second place Schnell versus sixth place Matt. Alright, so um, yeah, this is the biggest points disparity. Schnell is at about 119 and Matt is at 93 right now. Granted, that is with Vincent Jackson on bye. So, assuming he starts either Bolden or Stevie Johnson, that'll bump him up up to around 100 or so, which is a solid, solid projection to start out. Um, but, Matt, I mean, you're still dealing with Dez on the bench. Um, I assume that you're going to put Cam Newton back in because... Actually, I don't know. He plays Seattle, so that's not the best matchup for him. <coughs> uh, Schnell, so far. Uh, see if you can get that top-notch production out of Foster, like... Uh, it's been projected the last couple weeks. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, anyways, going through the teams, uh, I like Schnell to win this one. All right, so um, 
that was just a nice little uh, recap slash preview this week. So everyone, remember to uh, be happy and stay positive.